Welcome to Keynote Introduction. Today we're going to take a look at an advanced form of motion control. We're going to draw a path and have an object follow the path. So to begin with, let's open up a blank slide. And the first step is to go to Shape up here. Select that. And we don't want to select any of these line options here, but rather the pen where we can draw a path. Select that pen, and the instructions are to double click the points to toggle between straight and curved lines. And there's a midpoint to divide the line and add a new point. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just draw a somewhat rigid line. And each, each point I'm clicking as we go along, and we'll end up here. Now to stop, press Escape. We're out of it. Now, if we want to smooth this out, we need to smooth this out before we add the object. So we select the line, and then we can control A to select all the points, and right-click to make smooth point. And now it smooths out the lines. We still have the opportunity to go in there and grab the middle point here and push that up a little bit, to grab that and pull it down a little bit, and say this is not quite curved as we'd like and this maybe goes in a little and there's a midpoint here we can pull out a little more so we can finalize the line in the shape that we like once we've got that done we escape out of this and we add the object the object can be a photo or other image that you have but for this example we'll use the shape round we'll shrink that down a little bit and change the color format. We'll choose a bright color. We'll take that circle and bring it somewhere close. It can be anywhere, but somewhere close to that line. We need to select the object and the line. And then we need to go to Format, Shapes and Lines, Make Motion Path from Shape, and then we must remember to select the shape that we want the object to follow, and that happens to be this line here. So we select that, and we're done. So if we play this now, it zooms through those lines very fast. Now if we want to slow that down, we select the object, select the Animate button, look at this duration here, let's make that duration say 7 seconds. And now if we preview it, you can see the object following that line exactly as we've drawn it. Now oftentimes you don't want the line to be visible so the next step is to select the line and select the format option again and go down and select the line color. You can make that line color any color you like. In this case we'll make it white and the line disappears. So with the line gone if we play the animation now It looks great. Now we can have more than one line and one object in this process, but this is the process that we follow to animate objects to follow a path that we've predefined. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.